Well, as you can see, it is officially fall harvest here in our home. And it's also the very first time we are back in our kitchen after a really, really long time. So this is very special to us. And here to help us celebrate our return with a show stop in crackling pork chop that I can hear right now is one of my very favorite humans on the planet, not just very favorite chef. You know I love you so much. <laughs> Our very good friend, Chef David Rose. Welcome back. Everybody. Hello, darling. I missed you so much. Air hugs. There you go. Virtual hugs. Air hugs. Virtual, virtual hugs. hugs. Thank you so much for being here and being our first chef back in the kitchen. I feel so fortunate. It's an honor to be back, to be the very first chef kicking off season nine. That's season That's nine. A bit, give it up for season That's nine, everybody. Season nine. Season nine. You can never be first twice. How about that? Never. And so never. today is a big day. We are Super making pork day. chops, or I should say you are making pork chops. Because I'll be cooking, chops. you'll be, eating, be and eating, and I think you like that arrangement. I'm very happy yeah. about it. But this is not just any typical pork chop. Yeah. This is a really special pork chop. Tell us about this. Oh, yeah. This ain't grandma's pork chop. <laughs> this is a nice, thick cut, an inch to at least, you know, I'm a big guy, inch and a half. Okay. And the thing right here, you probably won't find a pork chop this thick. So find your local butcher, make friends, and get that nice, thick cut, an inch to an inch and a half. It's going to give you that nice doneness when you cook it. So and when you have it today, you're going to know what I'm talking about and why we picked a nice thick cut. Bone in. Bone in? Bone it in pork flavor, chop. More flavor, right? More flavor. Bone adds that flavor. And the way that you prepare this pork chop makes oh. it so juicy. You prepare a really, really special yeah. brine. What yes. is in that brine? All right, so it's all in the brine. The brine adds flavor and tenderness. What do you have in the brine? Standard brine, water, sugar, and salt. But we don't stop there. We got some garlic, we got some thyme and rosemary, and that's going to infuse it with delicious flavor. It's because you're extra. Your yes. brand has to be extra. You too. gotta be extra. We can't just do stuff regular. We gotta be super regular exactly. with stuff. You know, go above. Go so step in above. How long would we brine it? All right, so ideally you wanna let that brine overnight, you know, okay. six to eight hours. If you're kinda crunched on time, three to four, bare minimum. You take it out of the brine and you pat it down dry because okay. we're gonna heat it up in a cast iron, and water is the enemy of heat and oil. So pat it both sides, and from there, cast iron pan. You want to do a heavy, aggressive season of kosher salt and black pepper on both sides. Anything in the cast iron skillet before you put it in? Uh, no, right there, Just olive oil. A little bit of olive oil, about a uh, tablespoon of olive oil. You have some fat in there to get it started. Okay. But the pork fat's gonna really add to the sauce. We do have a sauce, everybody. We do have a sauce, you'll see in a bit. So you let that sear for about four to five minutes on each side so you get those nice, crusty bits. Look at like that. Like you see right there, you see that? That is beautiful. That is flavor. That caramelization on there, that brown bits, I like that right there. Ooh, so four to five that. minutes on each side is what you do right there. And what you wanna do next is once it's four, not bad, right? Talk to me, Debbie. I, I, know, I know it's delicious, because I've tested it, wow. tried and true recipe. The best pork chop in history. So good. You've done it again, David. You heard it here first. You heard it here first <laughs> in the season premiere, ladies and gentlemen. So you let it go, four to five minutes each side. You then pop that into the oven. And now me, for this pork chop, it's already so tender and succulent, so you don't want to ruin it. So I like cooking it to a nice medium temperature. About a 375 oven. You let that go for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. Till it reaches a nice, you know, 140. And you take it out, because once you cook it, it's gonna carry over and continue to cook. So to get that perfect 145, no knife needed, fork tasting pork, you put it out, you let it rest for about six to eight minutes. While it's resting, letting it hang out. It's got its sunglasses on, got its shades, <laughs> maxing and relaxing, getting ready for Debbie's mouth and belly. So Use good. that same pan with the olive oil, with the pork fat. All that deliciousness, we don't throw that away. You add your garlic, you add your charlottes, you add some portobello mushrooms. And then when we do that, Debbie, we don't just stop there. Some nice marsala wine. Mm. It has a nice, sweet kind of note. You yeah. might have seen a lot of Italian cooking, like chicken yeah. marsala. Very good. That's what that layer of flavor mm -hmm. is. I can figure that out, that it's delicious. All about balance, that balancing act. So we want to also add some chicken stock for that nice savory note. And what you do with that right there, you let that reduce. You let all those flavors marry, come together, and just resonate. And you reduce it till it's nice and thickened, about mm. by a third of volume. But you don't stop there, Debbie. Once it gets to that nice reduced liquid, you then add some butter. Mm. And then you whisk that butter in there after you cut the heat off. At that point, the heat from the pan is hot enough to emulsify the butter. Mm. And by turning off the heat, you're allowing that butter to emulsify, but the butter is not breaking because right. the heat is not there by you turning it off. It's and so rich. Once 
You're done. You have that sauce <gasps> with the portobello mushroom. I would just eat the sauce alone. With the sauce hard. by itself, you could have that on a spoon. I'd be happy with that. Me too. But let's compile a dish. You know it is fall. So what I love doing also with fall, it's all, it's all about squash season. It's all about right. the squash season. We have some acorn squash right here. We roasted it, salt, pepper, olive oil for about 45 minutes to about an hour. And you let the caramelization, mm. those natural sugars just pop and release from the squash. And it's such a nice change from, you know, mm -hmm. everyone was doing cauliflower yes. puree or yes. you know, as a substitute, the mashed potato. It's squash or, season, baby. You know, it's all about that squash. squash. Don't forget your squash, your neighborhood friendly <laughs> squash. And what we want to start first also on the base is as well, you got to have your greenery. So we have right. some nice Swiss chard here or rainbow chard. Simple, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper. So let's play so I can like join that. you because I'm, I'm ready to dig I in. Bet, I'm looking I at you. you I'm like, Debbie's enjoying herself, so it I'm enjoying Debbie. so good. I'm so sorry uh -huh. I started early, but Debbie, yes. it's, it's very hey. difficult for me to not eat while I'm sitting at the counter. And I mad at you, especially when I'm in the kitchen. I get it. Mm. I get it. I cook, you eat. We have a pretty good arrangement going no, on we here. we do. I like this relationship. There we go. All right. So we <laughs> have a also, nice. Also, you played it very beautifully. Yes. It's all because I told you before, Debbie. You eat with your eyes first. All right. So a nice little swish of that right there. And we can't forget our friend, the star of the dish, our double cut pork chop. Mmm. Put it just like that right there. And the sauce, baby. It's all about that sauce. Can I get a countdown, Debbie? From three. Okay. Two. One. One, just like that. Go. It's nice and thickened. You got that sweetness from the marsala, the savoriness from the chicken stock, and the earthiness from the mushrooms. This right here, David from Rose. my hands to your belly, fall is officially in the building. Fall has arrived, and let me just mm -hmm. say, the pork chop's the star of the show, but David Rose, I think you're also the star of the show, my friend. Oh, God. How's that? Not now, Debbie, I'm eating. It's delicious. <laughs> This so good. So delicious. So, I'm so, so good. I'm happy that you are here with us. Thank you so much for being here, David. You, of course, darling. you can find David on Instagram at Chef David Rose. And as always, you can find this amazing mm. recipe that he made just for us, and it's perfect for fall at HallmarkChannel.com.